On his last day in office, Governor Haslam granted clemency to 23 Tennesseans. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall spoke with one man who received a call yesterday from the governor, and he says this pardon really gives him a second chance at life and opens new doors to walk through. What does this pardon by the governor mean to you? It mean, it, it, it's like new money, if that makes sense. 35-year-old Robert Sherrill walks with less of a burden after Governor Bill Haslam called him this week to grant him clemency. He was like, uh, is this Robert? I said, yeah. He said, hey, I'm such and such, I'm from the governor's office. I'm like, hey, how you doing? It's because I didn't know which way it was going to go, but I thank him for, for getting straight to the point. Haslam sent Cheryl a letter pardoning him for running away from DCS custody in 2002 and drug possession in 2003. And I make it flip. This is um, another hill that I've overcome, and I still got mountains to climb. While climbing mountains, he runs a successful half a million dollar cleaning business and motivates teens in and out of the juvenile detention center. And so I try to I try to boost them up with positivity, and I try to show them what walking with your head up and being positive looks like. Cheryl says he waited three months to get that life-changing call. He says if he could talk to his younger self, he'd have this to say. When you make a mistake, the best thing you can do, instead of crying about the mistake, is learn from the mistake and move on. Um, and that greatness awaits you, if you want it. Last year, Cheryl was named a most admired CEO in 2018. He says he's a walking testimony that anything is possible. In the coming months, Cheryl plans to ask D.A. Glenn Funk to expunge his convictions, ask President Donald Trump to pardon a federal drug possession charge, and publish his second book. We have much more on his story on NewsChannel5.com. At the Five Alert Center, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.